Hi, Don. We're sorry to see you leave, but I know you're going on to another chapter in your life, and you and Melanie are going to be just as successful in Texas as you were here in Tennessee. Uh, the one thing I recall uh, about you and Melanie, because I, I think of you as two together, not just you, Don, is when you stayed with us in 2010 during the flood. And we became close friends and it built a bond that uh, can never be broken. And this is not the end of our journey or our friendship. We will continue it on and I'm looking to you, who's the PR person, to keep it going. So good luck to you and uh, I wish you well. And Don, I feel the same way. I just hate to see you leave. I know you're going to be just like Sam Houston. You're going off to Texas. And they'll know you there when you get there. Uh, of course, we met when you was PR man and I was president in 91. And uh, we became friends or pals. But once you started working with Liz during that 10 year period, or that was 10 years after I was president, uh, we got a lot closer. We played, started playing golf, started talking about sports, and I don't know why we both were following the Cubs. They never won anything. But I, what I remember about you more than anything is you brought so much enthusiasm to our meetings. It was always enjoyable, and I always left with a smile on my face. Two reasons. You were up, you pulled me up, and you always had a lot of good information that I needed to know. Plus, you're just such a nice guy that we moved from pals to real, true friendship. And I really hate to see you go and leave me here by myself. Enjoyed our luncheons every month. Enjoyed when our families met and uh, for lunch and our dinner. And you was just always impressed me with your religion and your support of your family. And you're a good family man. And I'm going to miss you dearly. Here you are going off and leave me alone. When I was asked for the one word that reminds me of Don Klein, I used the word glue. And the reason for this is that I believe that people outside the real estate business don't realize the frantic pace that all of us in this industry um, work in. Don was the guiding hand and the calmness and the glue that I felt like kept the organization and me when I was president, um, keeping it on a level playing field. And I will always remember uh, the day Don and I spent at Wrigley Field watching the Cardinals and the Cubs. And I just want to thank you for all you did to make my year and um, very rewarding. Thank you, Don, and good luck in the future. Uh, my favorite story of Don, Donald, uh, I guess was when Don was the PR manager for GNAR and we were doing a campaign called Yes You Can Buy. Um, and we, we had a lot of bumper stickers made. We were putting them on everybody's car. Don was uh, in charge of getting all the, the media um, and somehow I ended up in a picture in the paper where the photographer took my picture through the sunroof of the car and it was a really interesting picture. Um, it was an old Honda I was driving but it looked like a Cadillac um, and I think Don had a lot to do with making that picture look good. Um, but all my experiences with Don have been nothing but first class. So uh, glad to have worked with you, Don. Thanks. Don, some of my favorite or one of my favorite memories of you is just when I was starting out, and I've told you this a million times, but how you were my mother hen and you put your little wings around me and carried me around everywhere and introduced me to everybody and really helped me get outside of my comfort zone and helped develop me to be the leader that I am today. And I could have done not only what I was able to do at GNAR, but also through the rest of my career that you have been one of the most important people in my professional and personal development, and I'll miss you. Don, you've been a good friend of me and a good friend of this association the whole time you've been here. I guess uh, 
uh, my favorite memory would be uh, searching for the Lewis and Clark Compass in Washington, D.C. over several trips. And we were successful finally, and that, that was a good thing. I really do appreciate all the help that you gave me when I was involved in leadership at the association. You always had a, a way of working behind the scenes to get things done and still let the officers and the board of directors do their work, and I appreciate that. You're a good friend. I wish you the best of luck in all of your endeavors, and God bless you. Hey, Don, I just wanted to share with you my favorite story of you and I and a few others, Hagen and Price, when we got to enjoy the Pentagon. That is a lifetime event that I will never forget. And having known you and know that your passion for your son, Jordan, is just like me with my passion for my son, Corey. I'm just glad I got to experience that with you. And being in the chapel that day, we were very vulnerable together. And I just want to thank you for that opportunity that you made that happen for me. And I'll always cherish that memory. What about them Cubs? My favorite Don Klein memory uh, goes back to the time when we were having breakfasts at Nashville and I was the uh, president and Mandy Walkler was president-elect. And at every breakfast she would make comments that would make Don blush, uh, almost vomit, and scream, how about those cubs, as loud as he could. You'll have to ask Mandy about the content. One of my favorite memories of Don Klein was the weekend of the famous 2010 flood. We were supposed to have the golf tournament that Monday and the rain started coming the end of that week and every day I would say to Don, do you think we can ha you're still going to be able to have the golf tournament on Monday? And he's always optimistic and his answer was always, oh sure, we'll have it on Monday. So on Saturday, I texted him again and I said, Don, I think we need to go on and send something out and say we're going to have to postpone the golf tournament. He said, no, 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 we're, we're going to be able to have it on Monday, always optimistic. And then Sunday morning, I got a text from him saying, Melanie and I, Melanie and I are going to higher, water, higher ground. And I, yes, I think we're going to have to postpone the golf tournament. So he was so optimistic through the whole thing. We did postpone it, and it was a huge success after the flood. One of my fondest memories with Don Klein is the few days that we spent in Chicago in August of 2003 when I was actually the president-elect of GNAR. We went to the NAR Leadership Summit, and I had a real opportunity to visit with Don, get to know even more about GNAR, and understand uh, a little bit more about the inner workings of GNAR and what to expect for the following year and he did an absolutely fabulous job of preparing me as to what to expect for that next year and it turned out to be one of the greatest years that I've had in real estate and I'm very very thankful for all he's done. Mm -hmm. um, let me say the most memorable time about Don Klein I think had to be well besides that I'm the queen of how about them cubs uh, I don't think I embarrassed him too bad because I always knew there was somebody worse coming along behind me and that probably is true I do remember though that he um, I always cried around him <laughs> probably will cry right now uh, that was the year Steve died and he was like Mandy you don't have to do this and I said no Don I'm going to because I need to stay busy and I want to be focused and I think you can help me. And he was truly like the wind beneath my wings. He kept me going for 2008 through the death of my husband, the death of my mother, the marriage of my son, and just a few minor, you know, collapses in the stock market and other such things like that. But I think we did it gracefully. Thank you, Don Klein. Don, here's mud in your eye. Don, thank you for 17 years nearly of passion and integrity in the service of GNAR. Your passion will be unmatched in years to come. Laura and I both wish you and Melanie the very best in this new adventure in life. And as you know, when you come to Nashville, always come back to the office because there will be a hot cup of Starbucks coffee and a calorie-free Krispy Kreme donut with your name on it. Good luck, and we'll miss you. Let's see. I think now I'm supposed to tell a story about Don, um, or some 
incident or something that happens with Don and I frequently as me being president and him being CEO. And um, I think one of the things that I'll remember out of this year is that I could just make him melt in his chair. And um, how I did that was things would fly out of my mouth when I least expect it and when he would least expect it. And what he'd always say, he'd always segue into, well, what about those cubs? And um, he'll know what I'm talking about, but I could just make him melt like um, a scoop of ice cream in the summer sun. And that was the way he handled it. What about those cubs? And then uh, the other would probably be when he was passionately uh, telling us his position or making a point, he would uh, do that very articulately. But then he'd dig another layer and he would lead into that next layer by going, well, and oh, by the way, so oh, by the way, and what about those cubs are two things that I'm going to remember from you, Don Klein. Love you, miss you.